video presented to you by unique to billions e learning please subscribe it and press the bell icon in this video we are going to study compound interest in simple interest interest is paid only to principal amount but in compound interest interest is paid to the accumulated amount of previous period that is amount after first period becomes principal for the second period amount after second period becomes principal for third period like that it will go or in other words we can say in compound interest interest itself earns interest let us understand this concept with an example and after that we will also study the formula for compound interest an investor deposits dollar 1000 in a bank account that pays 10 percentage compound interest per annum calculate the accumulated amount after 2 years consider a timeline with the periods 0 1 and 2 so i mark 0 1 and 2 periods in this question this period is year from the question it is clear that at a zero period that is now principal of dollar 1000 is deposited so the amount in bank account at zero period is 1000 we know the formula for interest for one period is i is equal to p into r where p is the principal and r is the rate of interest rate of interest is interest for 1 dollar in question r is given as 10 percentage that is 10 for 100 dollar i have to convert it into per dollar by dividing with a 100 that is equal to 0.1 now in compound interest case the amount of previous period becomes the principal for the new period so the equation for the interest i have to apply is i is equal to p into r where p will be the amount of the previous period what will be the interest i can write as compound interest is equal to p into r at the end of period 1 where p is the amount at period 0 so what will be the amount there that is equal to 1000 into what is r r is 0.1 that gives 100 what will be the amount at the end of period 1 that is equal to 1000 plus 100 that is equal to 1100 why i write 1000 1000 is the amount there in the account at the end of zero period or previous period so 1000 plus 100 is equal to 1100 now we are going to the period 2 what will be the compound interest compound interest is equal to 1100 into 0.1 why i take 1100 here because in compound interest principal for the second period 
is the amount at the end of period 1. So, amount at the end of period 1 is 1100. So, 1100 into 0 0.1 that is equal to 110. The compound interest at the end of the period 2 is 110. What will be the amount at the end of period 2? It will be 1100 plus 110. That is equal to 1210. So, we calculated the accumulated amount after 2 years as 1210. So, we solved the question. To understand more about this, let us see what will be the symbol interest in this case. We know symbol interest is just principal into R. So, symbol interest is equal to principal into R that is 1000 into 0 0.1 that is equal to 100 at the end of period 1. At the end of period 2, it is same 1000 into 0 0.1 that is equal to 100. From this, it is very clear that at the end of period 1, compound interest is 100 and symbol interest is also 100. That is, compound interest will be equal to symbol interest at the end of period 1. But at the end of period 2, compound interest is 110, but symbol interest is still 100. So, there is a difference between compound interest and symbol interest, which is 10. Let us look more into this from where this 10 comes from. We know the interest we got at the end of period 1 is 100 and the rate is 0.1. So, interest earned by the interest 100 rupees is 100 into 0.1 that is equal to 10. So, this addition of 10 rupees in compound interest is the interest earned by the interest. So, I can say one of the feature of compound interest is that interest itself earns interest. Now, let us find the formula for compound interest. At the end of first period, accumulated amount is given by the formula amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R. It is a general formula we studied for amount at the end of period 1. To note it at the end of period 1, I write a suffix 1 here. What will be the amount at the end of period 2? I can write in compound interest case, principal of second period is the amount of first period. So, I can write here, it will be amount of first period into 1 plus R where R is the rate of interest. Now, look at it, substitute the value of amount 1, I can write P into 1 plus R into 1 plus R. That is P into 1 plus R the whole square. In the same way, I can write 
amount at the end of third period is equal to amount at the end of second period into 1 plus R. I know amount at the end of second period is P into 1 plus R the whole square. So that into 1 plus R it, it gives us P into 1 plus R the whole cube. In the same way if I write amount at the end of nth period is equal to amount at the end of n minus 1th period into 1 plus r. I can write it as p into 1 plus r the whole raised to n. So, in general I can write amount at the end of nth period I just write as amount is equal to p into 1 plus r the whole raised to n. So, this is the formula for amount at the end of n the period for a compound interest case. That is amount is equal to p into 1 plus r the whole raised to n where p is the principal, r is the rate of interest and n is the number of periods. What will be the compound interest? Compound interest or any interest will be equal to amount minus principal. So, I can write here the compound interest C i is equal to amount minus P. Let me do the same question with the formula. We will do it here. We know the formula amount is equal to P into 1 plus R the whole raise to N. Here we know the values principal is 1000 into 1 plus R is 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1 the whole raise to N. N is given as 2 years. So, raise to 2. That can be written as 1000 into 1.1 square that is equal to 1000 into 1.21 that is given as 1210 the same answer I got here. Thank you for watching this video and keep learning. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe it. Also, please like and share this video.